Behind the unassuming walls of these harsh institutions lies a brutal world where survival itself becomes the ultimate test. Here, where law and order clash with relentless defiance, justice takes its darkest, grittiest form. We're venturing into realms that echo with fear and resilience. From the icy desolation of Siberia to the sweltering, overcrowded cells of Central America, these prisons are more than just places of punishment. They hold stories of those who endure within. Who are these women? What paths led them to these walls? And what does life look like inside these formidable fortresses? Step with us beyond the gates where tales of despair, power, and at times unlikely redemption. Are you prepared to uncover the hidden truths locked within these walls? Watch if you dare. Number one on our list is the Central California Women's Facility, often referred to as Chochilla Prison. Located in Chowchilla, California, this is the largest correctional facility for women in the United States. Since its opening in 1990, Chowchilla has housed inmates spanning a range of security classifications from minimum to maximum security. While the institution is designed to balance strict security with rehabilitation, it aims to offer programs that promote education, vocational skills, and mental health support, all intended to aid in eventual reintegration. However, despite these efforts, Chowchilla has grappled with issues like overcrowding and the inherent challenges of managing a vast, diverse inmate population. As such, the prison often sits at the heart of debates about how the correctional system addresses female incarceration. The experiences of the women here reveal deeper societal and systemic issues, underscoring the need for reform and a renewed approach to justice and rehabilitation. The stories within these walls offer a stark lens into the realities of America's corrections landscape, where punishment and rehabilitation meet, often with conflicting outcomes. Number two on our list is Benha Female Prison in Egypt. This facility stands as a significant part of the Egyptian correctional system, dedicated specifically to housing women. While details about individual prisons in Egypt, including Benha, are often scarce due to limited transparency, the country's prison system has frequently come under international scrutiny for its conditions and treatment of inmates. Egyptian prisons, including those for women, face numerous challenges, often struggling with overcrowding, limited healthcare access, and conditions that may fall short of international human rights standards. Institutions like Benha are increasingly becoming focal points for discussions around prison reform, both within Egypt and in the international community. These discussions emphasize the specific needs of female inmates, from healthcare and psychological support to vocational training, all intended to better support rehabilitation and eventual reintegration into society. Benha Prison highlights the broader issues within the Egyptian prison system, reflecting both the urgent need for reform and the ongoing efforts to address these complex challenges for incarcerated women. Number three on our list is Tihar Jail in India, officially known as the Tihar Prisons Complex. Located in New Delhi, Tihar is one of the largest prison complexes globally. Established in 1958, it spans over 400 acres and includes nine central prisons housing more than 12,000 inmates, well beyond its intended capacity. Tihar Jail accommodates a wide spectrum of prisoners, from petty offenders to high-profile convicts, including those charged with terrorism, murder, and financial crimes. Tihar is known not only for its scale, but also for its forward-thinking approach to rehabilitation and reform. The facility has introduced numerous programs designed to transform inmates' lives, offering vocational training, educational opportunities, meditation, and therapy to promote mental resilience and skill development. These initiatives aim to equip inmates with the tools needed for successful reintegration into society. Tihar also operates manufacturing units where inmates can work and produce goods like furniture and clothing, helping them earn an income while incarcerated. However, despite these efforts, Tihar faces persistent challenges, overcrowding, understaffing, and the complexities of overseeing a large, diverse population continue to test the facility's resources and management. Tihar Jail remains a prominent case study in the ongoing effort to balance correctional control with rehabilitative programs within one of the world's most challenging prison environments. Number four on our list is the Bangkok Women's Correctional Institution, BWCI, in Thailand. Located in the bustling heart of Bangkok, this facility plays a critical role within the Thai prison system dedicated to the incarceration and rehabilitation of female offenders. BWCI houses a diverse group of women, from those awaiting trial to those serving sentences for various crimes. What sets BWCI apart is its commitment to reformative practices aimed at helping inmates reintegrate into society. 
The institution offers a range of vocational training programs, including Thai massage, baking, hairdressing, and textile production, equipping inmates with valuable skills that can support their employment prospects after release. Beyond skill building, these programs are also designed to foster a sense of purpose and self-worth among the incarcerated women. Additionally, BWCI has garnered recognition for its focus on the mental and emotional well-being of its inmates, providing counseling and recreational activities to support their psychological health. Despite these progressive programs, BWCI faces ongoing challenges, typical of many prisons such as overcrowding and the need for expanded healthcare services. The institution remains a notable example within the Thai correctional system for its dual commitment to custody and rehabilitation striving to address the complex needs of its inmates within a challenging environment. Number five on our list is Black Dolphin Prison in Russia, a maximum security institution infamous for its strict regime and notorious inmate population. Located in Soliletsk, Orenburg Oblast, Black Dolphin houses some of Russia's most dangerous criminals, including convicted murderers, terrorists, and serial killers. The prison takes its ominous name from a Black Dolphin statue that marks its entrance, setting a foreboding tone for what lies within. Founded in 1745, Black Dolphin has evolved into one of the country's highest security facilities. Inmates live under a stringent confinement protocol, with cells designed to make escape virtually impossible. Each cell is small, with bolted-down furniture and narrow windows to restrict external communication. Prisoners are monitored continuously, with guards enforcing rigorous restrictions on movement. When inmates are moved within the facility, they are escorted with their hands cuffed behind their backs and are blindfolded, preventing any chance to memorize the prison layout or plan potential escapes. The prison's daily routines are deliberately isolating, limiting any personal interaction to prevent alliances or collusion among inmates. Even during the limited outdoor time allowed each day, inmates are confined to individual cages, ensuring continued separation. This relentless routine and high level of control have made Black Dolphin one of the most secure and feared prisons in Russia, a facility that embodies isolation and strict order as fundamental aspects of its operations. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of our future deep dives. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next video.